how did you position yourself in such a way that you could work with such big clients like Rajshamani, like the big brands you work with? I feel like um, I kind of took the approach of putting myself out there in the internet. You know, whenever, for example, you are someone big, you know, you you only will give someone and you only will trust someone with your brand or your logo once you have either recommended from someone, either I have been recommended to you by someone or you see my work and you genuinely like it, appreciate it. And that credibility, that trust factor comes when you have a community online, when you have a very online, very good presence online. So this is what I had an upper hand. And there was a good friend of mine, Vedika. She was working with Raj as their LinkedIn management um, team. So Vedika was a good friend and I connected to her through Instagram itself. And yeah, Raj was just asking her, do you have any logo designer? I want to get my design done. And Vedika knew me. So she gave my number and Raj instantly followed me on Instagram and like that. For Ashneer, I think the thing was maybe he saw one of my reels where I'm designing a logo. So what I do is I make sure whatever I put on the internet, on Insta, Twitter, LinkedIn, anywhere. Now it's called X, sorry. Wherever <laughs> I put there on um, any social media platform, um, I make sure ki I put only that work which I really want to do with the real client. For example, um, when I used to post about uh, more about my design work, I used to post a packaging design reel where I, the camera is behind me and on my laptop, I'm doing some packaging design. And within two days, I used to get like 10, 15 offers from different clients for their brand's packaging. So the amount and the niche of work you put on the internet now, that exactly is going to convert in a real client and get back to you. Makes sense, bro. Bro, take me a step back when you did not have this much of following and this much of, you know, credibility and you were just starting out. So, tabhi aur ab mein, finding clients mein kya difference hai, tab kya struggle tha kuch ya it was very much similar to you, tab bhi. Hmm. So, I'll be very honest, abhi tak and tab bhi bhi also, I have never reached out to any client. Tabhi na mein kya karta tha, I, uh, first of, I would have done work for free. I did free kaam kiya. Like a uh, lot of uh, people advise that they never work for free. But I always say ki do work for free. There are two things. The first thing is people respect you. To that you have given your time and not asked for anything for return. Mm-hmm. As right. if they have done a favor for you. And that's like a one-up on them. So next time if you have to take a job So you like, okay, I did this for you. Can you please do this for me? And whenever I work for free, I always make sure that when I'm working with for free for them, I first tell them that I am doing this for free. I don't usually do this. Even though I work for free, I tell them that I don't usually work for free, but I'm doing it for you. And in exchange, I will just want you to recommend to five other people. Like, you have to tell five friends, five relatives, or five people who are who I am, who I am, and what I do, and my work that I have done for you, just show that work to them. Just tell them. But one, one condition, pe. don't tell them when I have free for free. You know, that is the thing. Hmm. I tell them that it will be a huge favor for me. And ek free kaam karne se, I'll get five other conversions of clients which are going to ready to pay me. And what is it? Word of mouth is the best way of communication. Now, how many big influencers, million followers, say that buy this course, 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 so, at least 8 will come to you. 